Hi my friends, we continue where we left off with data structures in Python. The data structures that we are going to examine today are tuple and set. Let's start with the tuple first. I think tuple will be pretty easy because we have already learned the list in the previous lesson. Tuple and list are almost the same except for one fundamental difference. The key difference between the tuples and list is that while the tuples are immutable objects, the lists are mutable. This means that tuples can't be changed while the list can be modified. Let's declare a variable which is tuple example example tuple. Just like we do in list, we separate the items of the tuple with commas. And then you know we have used the colors while examining list. So that's why I want to continue in the same way for an equivalent example. So let's say Hello. So far, the difference between list and tuple is we use square brackets in list while we use standard brackets in tuple. Let's look at the type of that. Just write type example tuple. Let's run it. As you can see in the terminal, it is a tuple. You can also use the len function as we did in list, string, and other data types. It's five. So our tuples consist of five items. And then of course let's see the tuple itself. So it doesn't seem different from we wrote here. That is the pretty much the same as the list as it looks in terminal. It's time to touch on the difference between list and tuple. You know we could make changes in the list. I mean, I, I want to remind you, example list, I will quickly create a list. Okay, I created a list. Now you know I can change any item in this list. Let me show you. Example list, let's say zero. I want to change the first item in this list. So let's write it ping. If I print it to see in the terminal, look, I can change it. It became pink. We have already known that. What if I want to change any item of a tuple? Let's try it. Example tuple, let's say zero again. I will try to make it pink. Run it. As you can see, we got an error. Tuple object does not support item assignment. While we were defining tuple, we said that tuples are immutable. You can't add, delete, or modify any item of tuple. In short, a tuple remains the same as it was created. In other words, we can also call tuples as list, whose items can't be changed. We can't use the methods we use in list in tuples such as append, remove, insert, and etc. I also want to show you how to create a tuple with a single item. I want to delete all of them. I will delete this one as well. Items need to be separated by commas to be a tuple. But what if we don't have a second, uh, second item? So what do we need to do create a tuple? If we leave it like that, it will be a string, not a tuple. Items need to be separated by commas to be to be a tuple. All we have to do is add a comma here. From now on, it is a tuple. If we print it or if we check the type of it, we will see it's a tuple. Check the terminal, it's a tuple. But if I delete the comma here, it becomes a string. So that's why I put comma here. If you wonder where to use tuples, we will use it in values that shouldn't be changed. We are going to understand better with examples in the future. Now it's time to talk about set. Sets are different from list and tuples. 
a set is an unordered and mutable collection of unique elements. I think you have noticed that the word unique here. Set items must be unique. I want to highlight here set items must be unique. So keep that in your mind. And we are going to see in a moment but sets can only contain one of each element. I'm declaring a variable example set and uh, actually we just need to open and close curly brackets to create a set. We haven't learned what a dictionary is but we also create a dictionary with curly brackets. That's why if we open and close the curly brackets like this, Python will detect it as a dictionary unless we write comma separated items inside these brackets. Let me show you. It will be better. We just check the type example set. Look at the terminal. It is a dictionary. As I just said, that is how we create dictionaries in Python. But if I specify items inside the curly brackets, so let's write something red, black, and if I run it again, the type is set. Another method of creating a set is as follows. I declare a second uh, variable here, example set2. We just write set and the uh, open brackets here. Open and close brackets. Even if we don't specify any items inside the brackets, it is a still a set. Let me show you. Let's check the type of it. It's a set. We can also specify values in brackets. So if we write red and black again, it is still. Uh, a set and if you want to see the variable itself look it is a set so keep that in your mind I'm cleaning what I wrote here because I'm going to use the first method to, to create a set and uh, I will write uh, some colors inside it let's say yellow we have black let's say blue and the uh, green by the way, we can also use the land function with set. So let's write land example set. We have five items inside this set. We don't need the land function for now. I delete it. Let's run it again. Here is something I would like to draw your attention to. Please check the terminal and I will run it a few times so it start with blue run it again it becomes red and if i run it it becomes yellow every time i print it i mean the, the run the code the places of these items change because what we said sets have an unordered structure that's it uh, items in set don't have indexes that's why we can access the elements by their indexes. I mean, we can do like that. We get an error. The other thing I want to show you is I want to add a few items here. For example, let's add yellow here again and the green again and the blue. We have already had yellow two times. Green two times and the blue two times here. I delete the brackets here. But if I run it, check the terminal. As you can see, even though there are two yellows here, it only prints one of them. If there were thousands of the same item here, it would be printed only once. Because as I said at the beginning of the video, set cannot contain duplicate. And now I want to talk about methods that can be used with set. Before that, I delete the duplicated items. Now let's examine the methods. If I put a dot here, 
PyCharm brings the methods that can be used with set. For example, let's use the add method. As the name suggests, it is used to add elements to our set. So let's say ping. If I run it, as you can see, we have successfully added it. But what if we want to add more than one item? How can we do it? For that, we are going to use update method. We need to write the elements we want to add in, 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 the, in the set, in a list, or in a tuple, or in a curly bracket. If we don't write it in a list, or tuple, or curly brackets here, it will take them as strings and they, it will add the characters of the string to, to our set. Let me show you before going on. As you can see, it added the characters here. That's why we need to use a list or a tuple or, or a curly bracket. So I'm going to use list here. Then let's say I want to add pink. And the second element is white. So if we run it, okay, check the terminal. We added two items to our set with update method. So we continue. What if we want to delete an item from the set? We use remove method. So let's write remove, and inside the brackets, we write the item that we want to remove let's say black run it. it check the terminal we have successfully removed the black here what if you want to delete i mean remove an element which is not in the set let's try it let's try to remove pink here because we don't have pink in our example set let's run it we got an error as we expected because pink is not in our set. Now I am assuming that we are asking something like uh, if we want to delete an element from the set but we don't want to get an error even if this element, this item is not in the set. For that we are going to use discard method not to get an error if this item is not in the list. So let's see how it works. We just write discard and if we run it we didn't get an error this time if pink was in the list it will have removed as well thus we have seen the difference between remove and discard i also want to mention frozen set i want to write, write it here frozen set the difference between frozen set and set is that if we create a set with frozen set, we can't change it anymore. Let me show you. We use it like that. Example set, frozen, and then we need to write frozen set. Inside the brackets, we need to write the, the set here. So I copy it. I will delete it. It may confuse us. So I want to discard pink here and I want to uh, print it. If I run it, we get an error. Because as I just said, we can't modify the set which is created with frozen set. We cannot add anything or we cannot remove anything from this set. I will end the video here. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.